What's going on guys? I'm going to do this box, another personal box break, 24 packs, Hometown Heroes. It is a Panini product, 2013. Doing some different uh, camera angles and stuff without the tripod, so also, this one's a little different than all the others. But I just keep switching up. I'm just looking for some things that are, uh, you know, decent for showing a box break, not using the tripod. And that's because I'm not using the camera that attaches to the tripod. I could. I'm just choosing not to, so. Put that right there. I will uh, pick up the stacks and put them behind the camera here so I can actually open them and do them in front of you guys one at a time. So hopefully this, the opening and the sound is not too loud in your ears. Not uh, exactly sure what we're looking for. Obviously some Griffey parallels will be good. I have some of the inserts I've already purchased as singles. You know, they have ones like this. So that's with the state. You know, obviously Hometown Heroes and that state, Massachusetts. So here's some Veritech because Boston. So I don't know what is what as far as print runs and such. I'll actually always forget this after I've already started the video. But if you are interested, here are your odds. Pause the screen. Check this out. So, a lot of different parallels in this. Panini obviously does a good job, typically, with parallels, having uh, many options and stuff. Uh, well, most new card card sets that come out have a lot of parallels. You know, tops, Panini, doesn't really matter who's doing it. What in the world? Jesus. All turned around. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the color yellow as a, a base set, so just in general, just the color, I don't really like it that much. So, for that reason, I'm not a huge fan of the base set, although it's a clean set. It feels like older cardboard, the old 80s, 90s, like that type of uh, cardboard. It does have that different feel to it, so I'm sure if you guys have touched it, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel fresh so to speak which isn't a bad thing it's not a reflection on the quality of the cards or the card stock itself but definitely has a different feel on the fingers maybe some sort of city hall insert and there's your last two from that bag eight cards per pack there are on-card signatures in this product. So if there's one per box, I don't know, hopefully. Well, more than one would be great, but I'm just being realistic about it. It's probably uh, for the price. It's probably one, if anything. Ryan Sandberg. It's a nice insert. Uh, curtain call insert. To my knowledge, I have not seen anything actually numbered yet in these cards thus far, but that was like five packs or so. Each row still in Seattle in this set, jeez. I know I need to speed it up a little bit, but I'm not sure what we're looking for, so we're just going to have fun with this one. This one's not going to be a quick break, that's just the way this product works. It is a set builder set, and a bunch of subsets that aren't too difficult to get, these heroes. So, it certainly appeals to certain collectors. Uh, I'm not typically one of those. I'm more into the very high-end, uh, really high-end box breaks or anything PC high-end or low-end. So, obviously, anything Griffey Jr., the Hall of Fame game news and autographs and stuff. Things that I collect. Um, I don't really care what product, who put it out, what the design is or anything like that. If it's the guys I collect, I just kind of collect it. But when I'm doing box breaks, typically, I don't go for the high packs. I go for the, you know, one pack, huge hits possible, and just see what happens. The higher level game boy, I guess. It's Adam Jones, the Maryland. Kershaw and Uke. I know I'll screen a little bit, but please forgive me. Like I said, this is a tough angle, so... Yeah, just trying out some new stuff. 
These really would be a perfect set. If you're someone that does through the mail autographs, I definitely recommend sending a set like this. It would be extremely easy to get a nice autograph on these. It's like I said, it kind of goes back to it's a little bit thicker card stock than old cards, but it feels like the same, um, I guess, texture would be the best way to describe it. It's a little more grainy than your current glossy cards, you know. Most cards now, almost everything's foil, so they're a little bit harder to autograph. To find a moments card. Again, I don't think it's number. And last couple. Goose. About halfway through the box. I didn't notice how many cards were in the set overall. I'll check that out. Sheffield. Trouty. Second year card. Sean Green. From my friends on here who are Jewish, Sean Green, one of the uh, prideful and best ever baseball players, Jewish faith and heritage, depending on how you look at it. Obviously, it can be either or and both. But, uh, Hank Greenberg, I would say, is most notable ever for those of you who pay attention to baseball history. Uh, but yeah, Sean Green certainly on that list. Great, great player. Calling the shots, Tony La Russa. See, I could send something. I'm not a big in-person or through the mail collector. However, I think that stuff's cool. I did it a lot as a kid. I think the reason I turned away from it was because the high-end designs that put them in a pack, like they're so easy to get now. That's why I kind of went away from it, although it's a lot more expensive that way. Plus, my guys that I liked, especially Griffey, did not ever sign through the mail. So, uh, for that reason, I kind of went away from it. But, to be honest with you, I think these would be perfect. And, like, sending that Tony La Russa to him to sign, since he's now a Hall of Famer. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. But since he's now a Hall of Famer, that would be a cool card to send to him. Beautiful signature would go in. Oh, man. Cool. Got the autograph. But, here's my problem with this. Maybe you recognize what it is already. Anybody? Anybody? I mean, I guess it's because it's a different subset. What's it say right on the front of the pack? Their biggest claim here. These are baseball trading cards called Hometown Heroes. Featuring on-card signatures. That's a sticker. Obviously. So uh, anyway, Toronto, Tony Fernandez, City Hall. Let me flip it over here. Uh, it's not numbered, but there's the back. For those of you interested in that. So I'm not, uh, I mean, obviously it's not a very good player to pull for anything I collect. Uh, but, you know, not awful. My problem is more with the fact that it's not on card. So... Don't put it on the front and make it look like it's going to be on card if it's not. I assume what they're saying is probably just the Hometown Heroes set, like that little subset. That's probably the only one that's on card, which to me is pretty obnoxious. And given the fact I'm doing this box just for fun and for entertainment for you guys, like I don't really care. Uh, like I did a whole bunch of boxes. I don't really care about uh, like collecting this particular set. I did it more just for the entertainment value and for something to to do, just to flip through some cards, check out a new set, some boxes I didn't really break myself in the past because uh, it's now a year old product. So I'm storing it for, kind of for you guys. But um, you know, when I'm doing a product review, which is essentially what I'm doing, I expect that what they put on the front of the box or the card, whatever they're touting as their their big pools or what you can get. I mean, expect them to honor that. Sure, mistakes happen and print runs aren't guaranteed, but geez, you got to be a little bit better than that. I mean, you can't brag about having on-card autographs and have a sticker as the only autograph in the box. It's kind of pitiful. I mean, the only time I think that is okay to get away with when it's pretty much an on-card set or you're saying, hey, this will be mostly on-card, whatever. It's Garrett Cole, rookie, by the way. Good play. 
when I think that is okay or more okay, again, personal opinion, when I feel that's okay, is like Tony Gwynn, Stan Musial, they have, and by they, I mean all the major card, comp card companies, basically, they have a bunch of autographs of those guys, and they're recently deceased. So, I mean, if you have a sticker and you just made a card of him, he was supposed to sign on a card, we understand it. Nobody's going to be mad that it's a sticker. We understand that they passed away. It's a tragedy. It's horrible for their families and for baseball. But, you know, nobody's going to be pissed because they didn't use an on-card autograph for those guys. But other than that situation, it's my favorite card so far, including the autograph. Other than that situation, though, I just don't really see it as acceptable of advertising one thing and giving you something else. But hey, that's just uh, that's one man's opinion. Tulo. I'm shocked that Tulo hasn't uh, been traded, hasn't moved somewhere. What do you guys think? I mean, shoot, by the time this video posts, he may. You never know. Uh, Colorado doesn't give any indication they're looking to move him or actively trying to trade him or anything like that. I understand that. But I'm also being realistic here. The guy is great. Huge market for him. Probably the best it will ever be is about right now. So if they were going to trade him and actually try to help the team, now would be the time to do that. To get the most out of him. So it'll be interesting to see if he just randomly moves sometime soon. There's a profile rookie. I think he might be moved too. I don't know that he'll be a Ranger much longer. He hasn't been there very long as it is. Obviously, he's a 2013 rookie, but uh, a lot of Ranger fans, which since I live in Texas, I know a lot of Ranger fans and Astros fans, a lot of them think he's a dud. I think they're actually not correct about that. I think Profile will be just fine. I think he needs to be better utilized and put in the right system. So He's not there yet. I don't know that he'll be a superstar, but I think uh, he had all that hype and then it just died. I think he actually can still live up to a lot of that, so... Uh, that last card it shows Daryl Strawberry. Not real sure what that uh, set is called, but anyway, I like it. Got a handful of packs to go. Well, hey Rod, he's back for the 2014 season. 2014. What am I talking about? 2015 season. Hey, Rod is back. Man, they got these cards going all over the place. Well, Jay Buna. They used to have, uh, for Mariners, obviously being a Griffey fan, I followed the Mariners as much as I could, not being on the West Coast. So, it was tough. Plus, the internet wasn't exactly readily available to me when I was, you know, 10. Uh, but, Jay Buna used to have, I don't remember if it was once a year or once a month, some of that. it was probably a once a year thing. But they had a Jay Buna... And you guys from the Seattle area will remember this. They had a Jay Buhner, uh, like, shave your head day. And Jay Buhner was involved in it. They would shave heads. So if you came, like, before the game or something like that, like, you got your head shaved and got the medium or something like that. Basically, because he had the goatee with the bald head. Which is pretty darn sweet, I think. So if you're willing to shave your head, you can meet Jay Buhner. I like this a lot, but I don't know exactly what it is. It was Bryce Harper. It's a second-year card, so it's not a rookie. Uh, some sort of insert. Um, I don't know, 20003. I don't know what that means. Let me look at the pack here real fast. Just skim it. I'm not really seeing anything with those numbers. I don't know exactly what that is. You know what it probably is? Because this is Hometown Heroes. It's a five digit number. I bet that's his zip code. That's probably the zip code he plays in. It's probably Washington. That would be a safe bet. So, like DC, 20003. I think the safe bet would be that is the zip code there. I'll probably put money on that. That makes sense for this set. So, I like the design of that. It's kind of cool. Usually, it's more of an area code thing. Oh, look, an insert. I do already have this one, I believe. But, Kingdom Craziness. Obviously, they imploded the Kingdom and. Built safe go, mostly because Griffey was there. Not for him, it was a terrible hitting stadium. It's one of the reasons he left, besides he wanted to go, quote, home. Uh, but yeah, safe go was an awful hitting park, still is. That's well known, obviously, documented. But the kingdom, he used to crush it in there. 
It's a good stadium. So I'm glad I pulled that of Griffey. So at least I'm pulling you know, Griffey inserts pretty cool. And my, my boy Albert. Good man. That's a Puig rookie right on top. Yasiel. Got so much talent, but what a clown. And he's just straighten up off the uh, off the field. Could have a great career. Doc dominates. Insert. Bob Warner. Grew up watching him, watching the Braves, TBS. I'm sure a lot of you guys did. It was the baseball that was on in most parts of the country every day. Not everybody had all the other networks that showed other teams. Braves are pretty much the easiest team to watch across the country. Here's a Machado rookie. So getting all the main rookies here is you know. And I'm sure they're all fairly common cards. But still I get in the, the key rookies. Nice to get. There's Jack Morris. Maybe, maybe we'll get in the hall someday. Possibly. So it's an opportunity. It's different ways to get in even if, after you're off the main ballot. You can still get in. So Greg Maddox just got in the Hall of Fame. Randy Johnson is going to be a Hall of Famer. It's Matt Cain for California. David Wright and Ryu. That's a rookie as well. And we have one final pack. Let's see if we get that on-card auto, since that's all they have in this product. <laughs> Jody Davis, man. Forgot about him. And it's a DJ. Derek Jeter. New York Yankees curtain call. Yeah, I don't think any of the cards in this uh, box at all. I don't think anything was numbered. But that's cool. I don't mind that too much. I still got, uh, you know, decent amount of insert cards. Got that Griffey right there. Can't complain too much. And that sticker, it's a little annoying. But anyway, for an 18 minute video, almost, I'm going to drag out so it is 18 minutes. Uh, let me know what you thought. I don't know if you guys have opened any of this or not. I'd only done like a rack pack type thing at Target randomly. So uh, it wasn't a product that I was really chasing. I just buy the singles and the things like that that I need of Griffey Jr. If you have any, by the way, I'm certainly interested, especially any lower uh, numbered parallels or shorter print cards that I might not have already. So uh, again, just a break for fun, kind of to review the product and have some more breaks i have about a dozen different products a dozen different boxes i'll be busting and posting randomly as i've done for years now since 2006 so sorry if i wasted your time but if you enjoyed it i certainly appreciate you sitting through it and hopefully whatever you're doing eating a meal taking your lunch break at work or walking on a treadmill i've heard some people say that that's what they do is they watch uh, my vids and some other vids while they're on the treadmill so cool good on you you know get healthy stay alive bust some cards it's good times. See you guys later.